Hello and welcome to Architizi. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this structure like it's done on a visitor center or in a Mulan uh, Wei Chang in China. It's a very nice project. You will find the link in the video description. And yes, maybe this looks very complicated to some of you as a complex structure, as something which is very hard or almost impossible to create in Revit. But no worries, it's really not. It's, it's really simple and it's really quick. And even if you're a beginner and if you watch this tutorial from beginning to the end, you will be able to do this for sure. So. For this one I will be using Revit 2023 and we'll use the ordinary metric architectural template which comes with the Revit installation. So hope that you are going to enjoy and let's just move there. Just to break down the geometry, so the first thing I'm going to do is this circular wall. I'm just going to make it as a generic one for beginning. So let's just have it to go to the second level and to the exterior face make a circle for the shape and let's make the radius of 5 meters we can decrease the height of the levels on 3 meters and what we have to do before we proceed further is to create one more level so to create a level in Revit you need to be in a section or elevation view I put it 4.5 meters high in the second level and then what I would like to do is to create the shape of, of this roof so to do that in Revit I will be using messing and side tool and will create in place mess let's open second and third lens so from the second level I'm just going to start with this we'll take circle placement plane second level and snap to center as C is a shortcut 5 meters let's go here and mm -hmm. Uh, I can be here, sorry, I didn't make something in level 3. If I would like to make it, I have to go out from the mess and that's not something I would like to do right now. So if this happened to you, just no worries, you can be in a second level and I will just create it here, this top, uh, top cut, this top profile. We'll make it one and a half meters and we'll just go to 3D, we'll select it and for the host we'll pick level 3. Then I will select those two shapes I created and we'll go here to the create form and we'll make a solid form and we'll just click finish mess. When I'm done with the, this shape, the next thing I would like to do is to create this structure inside. And the way to do it in Revit is just to go to the architecture tab and take curtain system. Uh, we have uh, one uh, preset it here, 1.5 by 3 meters. And I will just duplicate this one, we'll make one of 600 by 600. And just for the mullions, we'll take this 50 by 150 for both grids. We'll not put any border for now. And the way to create a system in Revit, you need to pick the faces of the mess. And when you're done with, with the picking, you just go here create system and it's going to make it. So the first thing what I can see that our mullion has no offset so we go to the middle of the of the of the mess and if you look at the picture I think that we have bigger thickness than this uh, 150 millimeters is. I mean it doesn't matter I will just show you how you can make a new mullion. So the way to do that is to create one of them then you have to unpin it Go to edit type, duplicate, and we'll make this one, let's say, as a 300 millimeters. So I will just extend this thickness of 300. And you remember that I said that the this one, the original one, goes to the middle. So because we have 300 as a thickness, I would like to make the offset of 150 in a minus, which means that this will go down. So the top of the mullion will align with the, the surface of the mess. And then I will also replace the material and then I can put just any wood. I will take this wood fearing. We'll click OK. So you see, as I said, the top of the mullion is aligning with the surface of the mess. But what I, what I have to do now is just to pin it back and then 
no worries, I will select our curtain system, we'll go to edit type and we'll just replace mullions for this one I just made 50 by 300 and we'll just click fine. So you see it's here and the next thing I would like to do is to create this wall over here. So the way to do that is just like curtain wall and I will just go here to the level one we'll take wall we'll take just one of the curtain walls and we'll just duplicate this one and again for the vertical and horizontal grid I will take fixed distance of 600 and we'll take the mullion of 50 by 300 millimeters and we'll just sweep the sides of the wall what we also don't need is this uh, generic wall and let's go to 3d so you see this seems fine there is one thing which is not okay at all and that's this distance here at the bottom of the of the roof and then this distance between the vertical mull is on a curtain grid also as you could see here we have this smaller portion uh, of the curtain of the curtain system for the roof and why we have it is because we have a fixed distance so i will just select this one and instead of fixed distance i will just make this as a maximum spacing for both of them and then uh, i'm going to go to level two and we'll just measure this one let's say that this is okay 9 930 almost i will just decrease this to 400 to see what we are going to get let's go to the second level and let's measure it again 608.5 so just remember that number and let's take this wall and let's take that the vertical need needs to be 6.8.5 but not fixed distance it needs to be maximum space so now uh, if i'm at the level two you see that our grids they are aligned quite well and let's just create a camera view and i mean i i really think that I will just turn on turn on some shadows and you see this really looks well what we don't have just uh, is the border mullion so I will select the roof and I will add the border mullion here one of them see it appeared and then I will select the wall and we'll do the same this was the first way and I really like this way because it's quite simple, it's uh, very easy to manipulate uh, with the elements here, but this also has downsides and one of it is like you see that our connection here is not the best one uh, of the roof and of the vertical mullions and, uh, and if you go here and if you take a look you see that our actually vertical profile is uh, one piece and it has kind of the radius actually the radial connection between the sloped and the vertical part so now i'm going to show you the way how you can create it uh, again i will go to the first level and what i'm going to make is the reference plane i can make it here we'll name it as o1 and it's quite important to name it and from the south view i will just uh, go to the component and I will make a model in place I would like to show you one trick so you don't need to be afraid if this happened to you and we'll take extrusion for the working plane we'll take this O1 uh, this is why it's important to name your uh, reference planes if it wasn't named it will not appear here and then it goes 5 meters to here so this is our total shape but don't forget that we have 1.5 meters at the top at, and then we have the wall which ends here which means that this is our shape 
and I will make the thickness again of 300. Uh, the difference between this one, you see here that our uh, top is not vertically uh, ended. The, the, the other downside, it's actually perpendicular to the profile. While if you go to this picture, we see that our uh, vertical structure uh, has the, the vertical uh, ends at the top. So I will now just trim it and we'll make the shape. And we'll just create a radius so one meter here. Let's have it 30 and minus 30. And yes, we got the profile. Now, if I go to the first plan, I just would like to make a five meters detail line. And let's move this more to the right. We'll rotate this one for 15 degrees. And I would like to show you something. If I take this, generic model we made and if I go to array and I would like to move it and to have it by uh, radius and group associated and let's say to make 10 of them and I will go to the second one so from here to here you see that it's going to make it and to create it to rate very very weird the reason is because we made it uh, it's stuck to the reference plane, so I will just go to undo and If you would like to rotate it You can make it But you don't want to do rotate for a lot of them, you know So instead to make it as a generic model I think that a lot of you will probably start doing it that way I would like to suggest you to make it the other way around so I will delete both of them We'll go to the level one and we'll take a wall. We'll duplicate this wall and uh, we'll make the thickness of, let's say, 60 millimeters. It's important to make it by center line, so we'll make it from here to here. Okay, I made something weird. Let's check what's done. Okay, 600, it should be 60, sorry. Okay, uh, I'm in a south view. I will just extend this to the third level. And what I'm going to do is to make edit profile. So I'm just going to do the same as I did for the generic model, but just for the wall. So, it's here. Now, if I go to the level one and if I would like to array it, so just to move this center of rotation, you can simply drag it or you can click the space bar at the keyboard or just go here, place. So, I will make 10 of them will go to the second one it's important in this case to have them grouped and associated from here to here 10 of them I know that I'm going by 15 degrees so I know that I need 24 of them so here it comes and here we got this structure so what I have to do is to create the wall and the roof and let me just create the wall. I will go to the second level. Again, we'll take in place mass. Because I have this here, I will make it from the first the plan view, 1.5 meters. And again, in 3D, I will just move this one to the third level and then this one to the second level. Select it and create form. And what I have to do right now uh, is to create a system, but you know that with this 600 by 600, we have both of those uh, grids, but for this one, we don't need both. We need just one of them. 
so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to keep the spacing for the grid one but I'm going to get rid of the mullions for the grid one and we'll just pick the faces great form and one more thing I can actually do for for this curtain system is just to make the curtain panel empty one and you see how it's aligned well I mean the same thing you have to do for the curtain wall let me help you with that as well <laughs> you don't need to do it alone so let's just go to the wall let's just uh, and let's just duplicate this one so for the vertical type we need this spacing but we need nothing for for the mullions we just need a horizontal one and I will take the radial form 5 meters and just select it send it back and again take this wall and pick the empty curtain panel and you see here it comes the second way as well i really hope that this is something which is going to be helpful for you and which you can take in your projects and increase your designs taking those techniques i showed you thank you very much for watching and you know like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel